Well, right now the United States is in the lead. Uh, we have the world's best researchers, uh, the best startup culture, the broadest, deepest capital markets. Um, continuing to bring those resources to bear on, on solving the problems of today and tomorrow is what we aim to do. We will produce recommendations along these lines uh, at the end of this year and uh, ensure that the U.S. continues to lead the way in emerging biotech and incidentally, uh, the Hoosier State will lead the way. And one of the things that, that really struck me, and I, I think Senator Young's been a real leader in this, uh, is the idea that making things in the United States is part of national security. Uh, and this is one of the things we're really trying to make happen on the commission. Uh, and I think uh, with the CHIPS uh, and Science Act uh, that was passed uh, recently with, with Senator Young's leadership, uh, you saw a drive to say, hey, if we're not able to make and have critical emerging technologies happen here in the U.S., we're at a disadvantage versus our rivals. Young is here to learn more about the life sciences economy in the state and maintain the national security competitiveness. Senator Todd Young says that a West Lafayette biotechnology company could be useful with national biotechnology and security plans. Moving forward, Young says it would open a lot of jobs to Hoosiers if more companies like Inari moved to West Lafayette. He says Purdue University is a good place to start. Oh. Uh, so, uh, in our, yes, we just did. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Chang, uh, for your leadership and for uh, hosting us here today. In order for us to make those advances and get the tools um, that farmers need, it comes from biotechnology. All these come together with the primary benefit of feeding people. This is the only economy in the world that touches every person on the planet, which means that there is a direct connection to national security a direct connection to economic security. Uh, and I know that you've been touring some of the companies near Indianapolis and here in our county, and these are amazing companies, large and small, work on different aspects of animal, human, and plant health together.